Well, what do we have here? This is a new, you can tell it's actually a 2023 because it has the 50 year anniversary badge. BMW M340i. We are on Bridgestone Taranza. Are they all season, winters? They're narrow, 225, 40, 19s. They look kind of like a winter tire to me. Anyway, this is a new review vehicle. I asked for this one in because I wanted to compare three series to model three. I personally feel like model three is almost like a three series replacement. So I thought let's compare this to Colton's dual motor long range model three. Interesting, they're putting M style mirrors on M sport models now. Uh, anyway, that's not the point of this video. We are gonna jump in it and we are heading over to Colton's shop because this just came in. It's an adapter so I can charge the Twizy. So, <laughs> can't wait to get some juice in that thing. Let's head over and charge the Twizy for the first time during my ownership. I really hope it all works well. So first of all, let's see what the heck we're driving. Normally they give me a window sticker. Uh, nope, just press media, BMW. Anyway, BMW M340i, no secret I'm a BMW guy. I owned the last generation M3. I'm liking the new screens they brought over from the i4 and put it in here. It's just finished its cold start cycle. Revs are dropping. It still says warm up. Inline six cylinder engine, eight speed automatic transmission now with a little toggle shifter thing instead of the old thing. So it's just the three series LCI. It's not my first go in the three series LCI. I actually drove one of these a few weeks ago at a BMW event. I think I have some videos on this channel from that where I drove the i7. Uh, I'm going to log in to my profile, my BMW profile, if I remember how to do that. BMW ID, that's right. Log in with my BMW app. The thing I like about this is I've saved all my settings in a 7 Series, so every option that this car has will have my preference on it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have any driver assistance, which seems a bit crazy. Why wouldn't they option it with that? Um, okay, well, let me log in, get everything set, and then we're going to hit the road and uh, try and charge the Twizy. Well, a pretty painless process, all logged into the systems, all my settings transferred over. I believe I have to double check all that, but I think we're good. Not many things to set in this car because there's no driver assistance, but lock, unlock, linking the key to my profile. Now everything loads up when I get in. BMW stuff's always been good at that, but for years, I mean, this is nothing new. They've always had cloud profiles and stuff like that. So, uh, okay, well, we're in comfort mode. Let's let it warm up and let's cruise over to uh, Colton's. All right, off we go now. Turning radius test, pretty good. Sounds great. This B58 engine is one of my favorite all-time engines. Uh, paired with the ZF eight-speed transmission, it's so good and smooth. And this one seems to be a mild hybrid because you can see we're actually getting regen. So uh, gotta play around with that a little bit. A lot of different variations of this engine depending on application, but um, yeah, this should be a pretty spicy one. M340i, we should get the pop pops in sport mode. Although I don't know if they turn that off for emissions, but either way, lots of power potential with a tune on this motor. And um, yeah, I am a BMW guy. I hate to admit it. Maybe I don't hate to admit it. I do like BMWs, but they've gotten a little bit soft um, in recent memory, although they're starting to come back with IX and now the refresh on the M340. I really loved the 3 Series pre-LCI as well. I always thought this was one of the better cars in the lineup. I don't know if I'd buy it over a Model 3. I guess that's what we're going to find out after this week. So we'll let it warm up and then we'll bomb it onto the highway. What? It comes with turn signals? <laughs> what a waste. No one's gonna use those. All right, let's just go nice and easy and then we'll give it a nice run out, shall we? Here we go, foot down. Oh, the B58 sounds so good. A little bit of air as well. <laughs> what a machine. And that's even in drive, not even in sport uh, transmission. I can knock this back and see we drop some revs. We can basically move over, kick down and rock it. <laughs> We're behind the world's slowest driver that's causing traffic everywhere, including the highway. And then this is the annoying thing with combustion cars. You're just sitting because you just wanted to merge on the highway in sport mode. Now it's spinning off the revs. I just checked this is at a break-in period by about 300 miles. So we are about 1,500 miles on it. So let's go drive. Let's go comfort. Let's go traction control back on. Here we are, full cruisy mode. Suspension, I actually had it in sport individual, which is my damper set to comfort. 
We'll move over. No driver assistance in this car, but 3 Series does just munch miles. They're built so well. So, um, yep, off we go to Colton's. I'll see you over there, but I'm just loving the noises of the B58. All the pops and crackles in sport mode. <laughs> there is something very nice about a 3 Series, but also something a little bit annoying about having a daily driver that is a combustion vehicle. As much as I love the noises and stuff, I'd rather have, you know, an M2 with with this engine an early one although that was really n55 not b58 but i'd rather have an n55 m2 than an s55 m2 with the new motor because it sounds better the, and the b58 sounds great as well there's something special about these non-m inline six variants that just have the magic noises over here at clear detailing and uh he's got himself a boxster four cylinder hey hey hello sir I didn't know this place turned into the hood. They're blasting rap music out there. Not me. Not you, but there's some dudes in an Altima, clapped out Altima, blasting rap. Well, they only play rap music, so. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Probably got here at 150 miles an hour down the shoulder. This is looking good. It's getting there. You did a cut stage on it. Oh, it's still getting cut. Still getting cut? Mighty dusty right now. Yeah, that's, uh, it is dusty. Ooh, no power mirrors, nice. Yep. I love that that's an option on a Porsche. <laughs> gotta, gotta save weight. The, at least he optioned the headlights and the windshield wipers. Yeah. So that's, that's very good. Car. And then you got uh, the world's dirtiest Tesla in here. Is this allowed to be on YouTube like this? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Right I thought ceramic coatings keep your car clean. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. It's snake <laughs> oil, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the ID4 tires. I ordered a whole bunch of Nokian tires today. Did you? I like... I don't even know how many, like 50 tires. Oh. I don't know where we're going to put them. Okay. Probably in my backyard. And the Twizy. So this adapter, the orange adapter for the orange Twizy, should, in theory, through our string of cabling, which is inside of it, charge it up. Let's hope. Colton, this bag didn't have any damage on it, but we are we have to tear it apart to get this thing out. Yeah. So I don't know how they got it in there. Heat shrink something. I don't know. It's kind of what it seems I'm like. to rip this thing apart. <laughs> So we're going to get the, what the way this thing charges is on a European Shuko plug. It has a 2.2 kilowatt onboard charger because it's a 2012. I believe in 2013 and onwards, that was actually reduced to a two kilowatt charger because they were overheating onboard chargers. Mm. Um, so sorry, little Twizzy, but I'm already going to order. So I ordered the tuning box for it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have that hacked. And then I also pre-ordered a new rear motor inverter and gearbox so that we can actually convert it to the AD version. Okay. So that's going to be a project. He said it takes a long time. There's a dude in Norway who's like a Twizzy hacker. So I was like, give me one of everything. Cool. He also makes different battery packs that are twice the capacity that we could get. Um, the problem is we don't know how we'd ship it. So if anyone knows how to ship a 12 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack, let us know because I'd like to buy it from him. Heavy. Yeah. Oh, heavy. I don't even know how much they cost. Five grand, six grand, something like that. Probably as much as I paid for the Twizy. Yeah. But we need a race Twizy. Yeah. And then we can give it like a lot of power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just need to figure out a way to put a Model 3 motor in the rear. Yeah, I think honestly <laughs> we need like a zero motor or something spicy. But either way, we're going to get the tuning box and then it'll at least do, I don't know, 80 or 90 kilometers per hour. And so the Shuko plug will go into... Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little tight uh, in here. Why? What's uh, you just wanted to keep everything warm? Uh, yeah. So last night, I mean, at the house, it was when I woke up this morning, it was negative nine in Fort Collins. I was like, this thing's gonna sit outside. Air suspension's gonna be dumb. Yes. <laughs> this thing I left here. We actually took the ID4 home last night. So. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So you got all the cars in here. That's that's my Model S there. I haven't driven that in a hot minute. I just paid my FSD subscription for it, and I've only used it like twice. <laughs> so, That's for good reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's good for videos, but I would like to get it back out at some point. Uh, needs some work. We have new suspension coming for this. Lower and upper control arms with lowering links so we can slam it. So that'll look very good. And um, what else? Then it's going in for an alignment. The round steering wheel from Tesla, and there's one rattle in the back then I think we're good. So that is the extension cord okay, that we so don't need. That's correct. 
that's just to give us an extra an extra length. Stuff everywhere. Yeah. This is it. That is, let's think, European yes. Shuko up top to Nema 620. This is it. All right. Oh boy, the Twizy's gonna charge. Man, all of your cars are dirty, Colton. I know. I know. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's like a mechanic's car always broken. Right. Cars are always dirty. <laughs> okay, so now the moment of truth. Boom. So that's in there, and then this goes in here. Have you ever used a Shuko plug? Nope. Well, I guess I have. I've been to. Oh, if you've Europe been to the Europeans. So Maybe let's plug this first. in first. Oh, boy. This is going to be some serious power here, friends. <laughs> Will it even work? Is that in there properly? It's in there. Okay, but does it mm -hmm. fit? All right, let's hope. So, oh boy. all right, so you're going to plug in there. I'm going to keep an eye on this screen in here. We're in. Oh, we're at 23% charge. The fan's going, and it's charging. Wow. We can charge the Twizzy. <laughs> That's wow. awesome. Well, it just needed a very overpriced adapter from Amazon. Yeah, that's pretty cheap though. So <laughs> I love that it's the complete wrong direction for this application, uh -huh. but the only way this one will work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many cables. <laughs> Electric cars are great. Yeah. We have now reached 24% state of charge. And uh, what's that little blinking thing that's going on the screen on the right there? It's just a red light that blinks wonder why um, and I don't know why the brake light is on because uh, the handbrake's full the end the handbrake is on so okay well it that's that's the thing so we've never full charged the twizzy I'm not sure we should this go around I'm thinking we'll charge it to 50 60 yeah. percent for storage something like that and then eventually next time I guess before we bring it ice racing on Monday yeah I got to yeah, I'm going to put it in the bed of the Rivian, and then I'm going to tow another vehicle with the Rivian. Where are you towing? I don't know yet. Okay. I was thinking I could tow the e-tron. <laughs> We're taking a lot of cars that day. Yeah, and I think my dad's actually going to fly in. I was just on the phone Ooh. to help us drive cars up. Okay. Um, so, and we're going to bring the Sprinter, too. So, like, everything's going. Oh, boy. Yeah. But I, I'm arranging all of that. But you guys are taking the ID4 and this, right? Yep. So you guys can't help us drive our cars. Well, Nick will be here too. Oh, Nick's so Nick can take with. a car. Yep. Okay. So Nick can drive whatever. Uh, Maybe he should take the X5, e-tron versus X5 in the snow. He could. Well, we'll figure it out. 25%, it's juicing. This is great. We just came out to look at the three series. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a BMW press vehicle meant for motor trend, car and driver, out of spec. Yeah. And they delivered it with the wrong colored rear toe cap situation. Wait, do you think that's just not painted or and someone lost it or if it's from a different color three series? Well, it's satin for one. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's not even painted. So right. I wonder if they lost it or like, well, gotta throw a spare in there. <laughs> that just okay. seems crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, all right. Wow. And well, there you go. End of vlog as I'm ripping the three series. <laughs> well, we got the Twizy charging. Colton ripped the three series around a little bit. We figured out what we're doing for an awesome upcoming video, which is going to be a full snow track to ourselves for a day up in the mountains next week. It's gonna be freaking awesome. And uh, just living the dream. Got my Twizy charging, could not be happier. So we'll see you on another Kyle Connor YouTube channel soon. Bye-bye.